Seriously. I was gonna say you're like a a, a master debater, a counter master. No, because you took their platform and used it against them. <laughs> oh, he found a way to get to the joke. I do have to stretch sometimes. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll hurt myself. Yeah. I've I've mentioned many times that you stretch a lot. I stretch before these things, after these things, during these things. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Ow! Ow! Fine. Ow. Fine. Fine, fine, oh. fine, fine, fine. Slide. Slide, slide, slide. That's slide. a fine slide you have there. He is, whoa! Oh, he doesn't go all the way to the... <laughs> I expected him to go all the way to the... Hey, you can't overlap on the... that thing. Jet. I'll be perfectly honest. I didn't even know this was here for a very long time. Okay. I always just went through the stage the the way you're kind of intended to. Yeah. And it wasn't until like within the last some odd years that some I was watching a playthrough of a game and was like, what the hell? There's what? been a door over there that, or well not a door, but you know, an alternate route this whole time. I imagine it went unnoticed by a lot of people as a result, because you just kinda of plow through the stage, you know, intentionally. The or the intended manner. Whee. That would have been great if you'd run out of energy above the pit. I didn't. I didn't even get all the way over the pit, in fact. Yeah, whatever. Excuse me, princess. I'm not a princess. Aren't you? No. You're not a pretty, pretty princess? I'm not pretty enough to be pretty twice. <laughs> Only once. Only once. Only one step of pretty for me, thank you. I don't remember who's in here. Again. And it's... That man! This thing, this thing we can finally use! With Storm? Yeah, actually, yeah, I think that's the only weapon I haven't used. Alright. With Storm it up. Hmm. Hmm. That is that boss. A? Eh? You get hit a lot, but it doesn't do a lot of damage. He takes a lot of damage from Windstorm. He's really oddly designed. He doesn't look like a Mega Man boss. He really doesn't look like a boss, period. He looks like just kind of a bigger enemy, but enlarged yeah. a bit more. Yeah, that's true. It does. It doesn't have the... the... yeah, the gravitas of a boss's design. Thanks. Thanks, fish. Ha! Destroy everything! Kill them all. Uh, oh, thanks, fan. If you hadn't been there, that might have been a problem. Kill them all and let uh, Wily sort them out. Keep forgetting I don't even need to switch weapons to refill ammo. Because I have the... Uh, Balancer? Yeah, when Proto Man showed up to cameo in this game. Which hey, I mentioned. I mentioned in Mega Man 5 that Proto Man starts having a lot less uh, to do with the proceedings up until they you know, did Mega Man 9 in all, when all retro. And even then, he's not in the normal playthrough of the game. You have to download him as an, uh, some DLC as a playable character. Hmm. I don't think he has any bearing on the actual plot. Like, he might, not, he might be in a background shot at one point. It's Yamato Man! He is, and he's it's weak... Tomato to, Man! He's weak to tomatoes. <laughs> he is... He, yeah, he has that uh, that one sickness where you're allergic to tomatoes. I guess it's just a tomato allergy, I don't know. Yeah, that would that's what it would be. <laughs> he has that sickness where you're weak to tomatoes. <laughs> you're weak. Tomato allergy. <laughs> That's what allergies are, really. <laughs> They're weaknesses. It's your it's your Mega Man boss weakness. Oh, okay. So I am weak to Catwoman. Yep. <laughs> you actually have cat allergies? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Oh, what? Ah, ah, ah. That's like my only known allergy. Aller allergy <laughs> is cats. It's my only known allegory. Alloy and other things that start with that pronunciation. But also, I'm weak to Catwoman. Weak in the knees. That's right. 
<laughs> oh, this guy's funny. Bye. Wasn't that Damn It Man? No. That was Planted Man. He's all about, you know, teaching people to get more into gardening. Oh, I thought he was just, like, into getting people to stand in a way where they aren't <laughs> able to be pushed over easily. <laughs> well, you know, that's on the weekends. <laughs> gardening on the weekdays. Planting your feet securely <laughs> on, on weekends. He teaches different courses. He does. He, uh, he teaches down at the community college. Goodbye, Nightman. Good night, Nightman. Master of the Mace, Windu. <laughs> Master of the... That makes him really powerful, I think. <laughs> Not really, considering Mace Windu just got kind of bolted out of a window. Uh, Mace Windu wielded the purple lightsaber, which is for Jedi Sentinels, which means that uh, they wield both the dark and light side of the Force, but they aren't attracted to the dark side. Yeah. They're the strongest <laughs> ones, man, okay? Mace Windu is He stronger. has a purple lightsaber because he asked Lucas to have his own color. <laughs> Just gonna remind... I'm telling you what purple means, though. It means black person lightsaber. Whoa. What? He's a Whoa. black dude, it's his lightsaber. Did you see that? He was stuck in place in the running animation. That was great. Yeah, and I understand that purple is... Uh... Woo! That was fun. <laughs> I fucked that up a lot. <laughs> Purple is a stereotype, yeah, I'm aware. Actually, is it? Yeah, it is. Is it? Okay. Yeah, I, I don't even... Purple, grape... Oh, right, because of the grape thing. I actually don't know where the whole grape... Well, no, no, I'm just saying, like, those those are two of the many stereotypes. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm, imagine the purple is just a, derived from the grape thing. But I don't actually know where the I grape really thing is. I really don't think it is. Around. Well, I don't know where the purple thing would have come from then, considering throughout history, purple is associated with royalty, and yeah. black people's stereotypes are derived from their poverty status. Like, that's where the chicken thing comes from. And being is it? Yeah. I didn't know that's where the chicken thing came from. Yeah, because back in, in, his, in American history, chickens were like, you, know, you wouldn't, if you were affluent, if you had status, you wouldn't eat chicken, because it was like grubby fucking... Well, I mean, that's what we eat now. And it was because it was cheap, that was something that... Well, that's why I eat it. ...that slaves could afford. <laughs> that's why I eat it. it well, I'm just saying, like, you know, history lesson. Well... Hey, Windstorm. We can use it on this guy, too. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess that's that's why. I just never even thought about it. You know, honestly, I didn't know that connection until the last some odd years of my life. Well, I mean, oh, okay, now, now, that maybe not. now that you've pointed it out, like, it, it makes sense. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, that's my that's my point, is like, I don't know why purple then, because they are stereotypes, and therefore they're based off of stereotypes, I, the stereotype of purple is an association with royalty, the stereotypes for black people are derived from a poverty status. Yeah, but I don't think the stereotype of purple being royalty is a well, widespread understanding in this day and age. I think it still mostly is, actually. Otherwise, why isn't purple sort of other... Like, okay, where did it come from for black people, then? Where's the, where's the stereotype? Part? I don't know. It could just be the, the, the grape thing, which also doesn't make any sense on its own anyway. Well, grapes are purple. I, I know, I'm saying that the the grape being a stereotype doesn't make sense. Well, yeah, I guess, yeah, I don't know where that came from either, other than, like, I don't know, grape soda or something? But I don't know where that would have come from either, other than, like, what, they drink a lot of grape soda? I drink a, I drink a lot of grape soda. Grape soda's great. It's... I don't really like grape soda. I do. Oh man, I, I don't know which weapon energy I was supposed to be conserving for after this. Maybe it has something to do with, like, maybe back in the old days when, when films were filmed in black and white. Uh, Fuck. Like, the people that would dress in blackface would, like, paint their faces purple because it showed up better, maybe? I don't know how it would show up more black than blackface, or that they would care. I guess that's true. But then if you think about it, like... Mr. Popo is kind of purple-tinted. Well, he is now. Yeah. That's, that's because they changed it to that. Yeah. To get away. Same thing with um, the character you should have used more because you're more, you know, associated well, no, with Pokemon. No, but that's the reason I didn't use it. <laughs> She got tinted purple for the same reason. 
Look at the screen, it's even tinted purple. What am I fighting? Centaur Man! Centaur! Is that what you're fighting? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just. <laughs> I was trying to fight with just the Buster last time, and you know what? I don't give a shit. Yeah, I don't. I'm just having fun. You really fun. shouldn't. Kill it! I like getting stuck in my run animation, though. That was cool. Kill it all! Reminds my favorite drink is it's, not grape. It's red. It's red. It's not purple. 